it's still a car. It's not like it had six wheels or nuclear power or something. But what it is is the first car made in this country for about as long as anyone can remember that's been started from the beginning, from scratch. The whole idea of the Saturn was to start the whole process over, to start all over again with everything we'd learned, with everything anyone had ever learned about building a car. There's nothing left from the past. The engine, the transmission, virtually every nut, bolt, and screw. The way it's made. The way people care about how it's made. It's all new. It's the only really new American car from a new company for 40 or 50 years. We're proud of this car. It shows what you can do when you're willing to start all over again. Every morning, you order a large orange juice. I like orange juice. Oh, really? It's got potassium, vitamin C, lots of vitamin C. Orange juice. It's got the vitamins, minerals, and taste that make you feel so good. Come on, Lou. Isn't there another reason? Well, I kind of like the company. 100% pure Florida quality orange juice. It makes you feel so good. Here, have another glass, Lou. Thanks. H&R Block goes that extra mile for me. Block is a service company. We're in the business to serve the public. Well, I know what they do for me. America's tax team, standing up for you. Morning, time for a healthy breakfast. Don't worry, your kids won't hide from it. A cereal made from whole green oats. Don't worry, your kids will eat it. It's Quaker Oat Life. Lightly sweetened inside, roasted toasted oats outside. Life tastes so delicious. Unless they're weird, your kids will eat it. This week, wake up to Good Morning America in Hollywood from the sets of America's most popular shows. Take a week-long tour behind the scenes of primetime television. Watch Tim Allen and the cast get a real lesson in home improvement and travel to the famous zip code that made Jason Priestley a star. Then hear what celebrities have to say about life in America's entertainment capital and find out why Hollywood can be a blast this week on Good Morning America. Scott Turow's The Burden of Proof will continue in a moment. Monday at 8, 7 Central. Get out. A killer cop makes his last stop. Maybe we can work something out. We found semen on her jeans. <laughs> Broadcast said it was a suicide. Looked that way to me. FBI, the untold stories. Then... Everybody's got their assignments. Follow the force. It'll take a second and a half or two to in your head. On American Detective Monday. For years, I was faithful to one detergent. <laughs> And then this guy offers to wash one of my husband's T-shirts in an unbranded detergent and one in new Ultra Surf, right? And he washes them both, and they both look spotless. And I said, well, you wasted your time. He says, okay, now watch this. And he puts a little heat with an iron. And it brought out these odors. I could smell it. The Surf shirt smelled cleaner. So now I use it. With this new Ultra Surf, it doesn't just look clean. It is clean. I like clean. <laughs> Got those charcoal churning, burning hot for some sizzling savory Johnsonville brats. Can't wait to fire up the grill. Give me a thrill. Oh, these birds, they need a shot. A shot of Johnsonville brats. Girl, I've got the hots for the brats. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. Me a bun. Pass me a bun. Yeah, I got the hots for the brats. From Johnsonville. Simply great taste. Exclusive, the suicide that rocked the Van Dyke family.